guys so today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I do my eyebrows using the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow definer yes it looks like this I'm gonna show you guys how it looks like when it's opened so this is the actual product part as you can see it's kind of thicker on it kind of like a triangle basically it's like a triangle this side on the bottom is a little bit thicker and it just like narrows down to like a little sharp point and then on the other side it comes with a spoolie that you can use to brush it out brush out the product and like fix any mistakes that are like little clumps and stuff like that and then what I like to use with that to kind of define the uh, bottom part of my eyebrow is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Deep Brow Pomade I'm using both of them in the shade Granite and then uh, for brushes what I'm gonna use are I use the Morphe M173 brush to um, blend out the concealer after and then I like to use the Morphe M4 one zero to clean out the top of my eyebrows and then of course I like to use my Simply Simons one fourth of an inch brush it's a little angled brush and I like to use this to clean out the bottom and then to actually fill out my eyebrows on the bottom with the dip brow I like to use the Morphe M158 brush it comes with a spoolie as well Okay guys, so I'm gonna try my best to not get out of frame because I know this is like a really detailed video and I really wanna show you guys exactly what I mean. Okay, so I'm gonna start by using the brow definer pencil and I'm just gonna use it like, no, I'm not gonna use it this way or this way, but like this way where it's like more flat. And I'm gonna start off by lining the top of my brow. Of course, we first wanna make sure to like brush out your eyebrows so like the hairs are like under the same direction. And then I like to go in with the brow pencil and kind of like start defining the top of my eyebrow. And it's okay if you go a little bit outwards either way we are going to be cleaning it up. But also don't try to actually like go too too far so then it's easier for you to clean up. And so I'm just going to be aligning the top of my eyebrow. And going where it naturally curves as well. And kind of bringing it downwards. So that's how it should look like as the top line. See the difference? It kind of like already starting to shape my brow. Okay, so now we're going to actually kind of start filling out the brow. And I'm going to start off like right here. I'm going to start off where we also started off aligning the top. As you guys notice, I didn't start off all the way in the front. I started off kind of like more somewhere right here. A little bit, a little bit more um, towards the front, but not exactly at the front. So I'm just, I'm just going to start filling it in. And I'm going to try to avoid the bottom still because we're just going to line it at the bottom with that brow pomade. But what we want to do is fill it in with the pencil so they can look not so, so dark. And also so they're not really like bold. But also they're going to come out cleaned out and defined but not fully colored in like if you were coloring in a coloring book. You know what I mean? Not like my other videos where I did color it in. A lot I'm trying to do another video not another video I'm trying to show you guys different ways on how you could do your eyebrows in different methods and I'm trying to show you guys how you could also use um, a pencil to make it not as dark and not as filled in but filled in I don't know if you guys understand what I'm saying but basically saying that you don't always have to do that Instagram Instagram a brow when you do your makeup you could always do it lighter and darker but it's whatever you prefer and I like to do these videos to show you guys that it's not always just one type of brow that you could do on your eyebrows so now that we have that pretty filled in i'm gonna use the little thinnest side of this little pencil you can see this is the thicker side right here and the thinner side is on this side so with that thin side i'm gonna go ahead and flip it and i'm slightly gonna underline the top of my the top the bottom of my brow in the front of course, I'm not starting all the way in the front, but a little bit more towards the back of it. And I'm kind of just going to slowly start applying soft pressure on it and kind of just typing it. And you can see it's already starting to define it. And I'm just going to keep doing that to the rest of the brow until I get to the end of it. And like that. So now what we're going to do is take the spoolie side and actually going to brush that through to make sure there's no clumps. 
so I think that looks pretty good and now we're gonna go in with the pomade this is optional if you do want it a little bit more defined at the bottom I know I like that really defined brow at least at the bottom right here but if you don't want that step um, or you don't want that like look you could just like skip this step and just go in with the concealer but I must still do it for those of you guys who still want to see how to do that not so filled but filled in brow okay so I'm going ahead and taking some pomade and just like brushing it kind of off on the lid and I'm kind of getting the brush to be as flat as possible and now that we have that now I'm simply just gonna align the bottom of my brow as you guys will see right now and basically gonna just, just ugh, I hella stutter right there basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna flick it upwards too to kind of blend it into that other brow product that we just applied so I'm gonna align it and I'm not going all the way in the front. I'm just gonna just gonna stop like around right here, and kind of just line it and flick it, and then the rest of the product, kind of feather it upwards, and there you go. There is your really defined bottom piece of the brow. Okay, so now to clean out the brows. For concealer, I'm going to be using my Tarte Shape Shape Concealer in the shade Light Sand. And then for the top, I'm actually going to be using my foundation shade because I don't want it to be a little, like, I don't want that, like, halo effect on the top of my brow. So I'm going to be taking the shade 112 by the Maybelline Superstay Foundation because it's a little bit more warmer. And I'm going to be using that for the top. And then for the bottom, I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape. So that's what you guys are going to see me doing right now. Okay, so now I'm just simply going to start off by cleaning out my brow. And now I'm switching on to the Simply Simon's Angled Brush. And I'm going to start just simply carving it out. So I'm going to start off on the front. And then I'm going to go ahead and... Sorry, I kind of stopped talking because I need to focus real quick. And there you go, there's your clean out brow. And then you just wanna blend it downwards and kind of blend that down too. And just start making it as sharp as possible. All right, you guys. So now I'm just going to go ahead and just fill in this brow over here so then I could just kind of like make sure I'm cleaning them out evenly. So I'm going to just stop recording and I'm going to do this eyebrow and I'm going to um, come back and be at the same, um, what do you call it, same place as I am on this eye. I'm going to be taking the Morphe M173 brush and I'm going to be blending this out before it dries down. So I'm just going to be blending this out so then we could prepare for our eyeshadow. This brush is so amazing to blend out your concealer. I love it so much. You guys should go get it. It's like so good. Like I don't even need to go over over it with like a beauty blender. I really don't. Look at that. Look how flawless that looks. Okay. So now we're going to clean out the top of my brow. Okay, to clean out the top of my brows, I've been loving you. I've been loving the way this Morphe M410 brush is working for me. I like honestly love how it cleans out my brows. It's like it makes it much more much more easier, and I have like more control over the brush if that makes any sense. But anyways, I'm gonna start taking the foundation, and I'm simply just gonna be cleaning it out. That's what you guys are gonna be seeing me doing. So I like to just apply some on top and this way I know it looks like a lot but either way I end up using this for like my forehead as foundation so then it kind of like what do, you, what do you call it I use less foundation I just like need to put on foundation on the bottom of my face instead of like the top like anymore because like doing this step would just help me like do the top of my foundation my forehead foundation is that basically what I'm trying to say so I'm just gonna go ahead and start kind of like First, trying to diffuse it upwards and then kind of bring it down because there's like, like so there's like a lot right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. Okay. Bring it around before I get closer to it. Okay, so now for the actual.
cleaning out part. You guys saw that? That was so easy with this brush. I'm telling you guys, if you guys want to do your eyebrows, for sure you guys have to get at least these three, wait, four, sorry. These four brushes are your like holy grails if you want to do your eyebrows so clean. Literally, go get them. This is the Morphe M173 brush to blend that out. The Morphe M158 brush to do your actual eyebrows. And it comes with a spoolie, so that's a plus. And then the Morphe M410 to clean out the top. And the Simply Simons 1 fourth of an inch brush to clean out the bottom. Trust me, it's much more easier. I found out these brushes are so much better than like these actual... Let me try to find one. Hold on. These I found I found that these brushes are easier than trying to use one of these brushes to clean out your brows. Because right here, your brow is really like straight so it's kind of harder with the round brush i feel like this brush would only be good for the back the back the last part of your um tail but at the bottom and it's kind of harder because the brush is a little bit thicker but i really do like this one because it's thinner and it gives you much more control so i really do recommend you guys to go get these four brushes not sponsored by the way all right you guys now to blend all this out and we need to like kind of blend out that brow that we have going on so I'm gonna go ahead and take the Morphe M410 brush again and I'm just gonna apply some foundation right in the middle like that and meanwhile I'm kind of letting it dry a little bit because if I blend it out right now it's gonna be too harsh um, I'm gonna be taking that fluffy fluffy it's not even what's kind of fluffy the Morphe M1773 brush and I'm gonna use this to blend out that foundation foundation on my forehead and I just like to blend it out and it blends out really nicely too with whatever's left on my sponge after I do my foundation I will just go back in and fill in those spots that I missed but I'm just gonna blend that out and either there's two ways you can either blend out the middle you can use this brush that I have right here or a sponge I would honestly would rather I would rather use a sponge so that's what I'm gonna do right now I'm taking the Morphe sponge and I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of flip it like my hand this way so I could look down at a mirror and see what I'm doing so I'm just gonna go ahead and start patting it right there in the middle and I'm slowly gonna start bringing it inwards to the brow and as you can see it's kind of starting to blend it out right so you want to do that until you want them as separated as much as you want and the same thing to this side I kind of like to just fade it out until where my actual hair start and once I'm done with that I'm pretty satisfied with how it looks alright you guys so I actually forgot to set my eyebrows and this is like the step I always sometimes forget too but I really like doing this side because it keeps my little eyebrow hairs like staying in place um, this is the bra precise by Maybelline a fiber volumizer it looks like this and the little wand looks like this and it comes with actual little fibers in it this one's in the shade deep brown and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this so then we could actually see the final final look so I like to start off right here and I like to kind of like brush little eyebrow hairs up and then right here just gonna like the way the tail flows this will help your eyebrows like stay in place all day So now this is officially, officially the final look. Let me focus that for you guys. I don't know if it's focused. Okay, I hope that's focused. Alright you guys, so that was the end of this video. Let me zoom out for you guys. Can I? Oh yes I can. Yes I can. Let me focus because I'm like too dark. Whoa. Okay. Sorry, guys. Okay. 
so that was the end of this video i hope you guys really do like this brow tutorial i did shoot two videos today i did one on my eyebrows and then one for my foundation um i will have the video linked up on my instagram because i don't know when i'm gonna post that one yet but i'm, I'm pretty sure i'm gonna post this one first but either way you guys will basically know if you guys have your notifications on but anyways thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys found this video easy to follow um if you guys have any questions feel free to message me or comment down most likely on my on my instagram account because i do tend to like answer more on there because i'm more active on there i'll have the little at somewhere right here right here i don't know which side i like put it on i think it's on this side i don't know but go ahead and go follow me on all my social medias it's all of them are at la makeup at makeup by la Huera. i can't even remember my own handle right now but as always don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys